Hey guys, so for the second time I deleted my footage for the get ready with me that I just did because I don't want to post it. I hated it. I can't multitask. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. I don't know how Andrea and Brianna do it, but they're like professionals at it. Um, anyway, I'm sorry if the glare from my glasses annoy you, but my allergies are acting up so I didn't don't really have a choice right now unless you guys want me to like blindly speak with you, which I'm gonna do anyway, metaphorically speaking. I'm already rambling. Okay, so I wanted to do a new, I don't want to call it a segment because it's not like I have my own show or anything, but I wanted to do like a new style of video where I just call it like coffee catch up and not catch up, coffee catch up. This sounds disgusting. Um, basically, I have my coffee. Um, this time I actually put a little bit of soy milk because I've already had coffee and I'm trying to cut down because I get way too hyper and then I don't sleep and then my insomnia gets worse. I thought I would do a more personal one-on-one -on -one type of video where I don't have to get ready while I'm doing it. My entire family is home. We're about to leave on vacation this weekend, so you guys are going to hear a lot of noise right now, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this new setup. I am still kind of getting used to it and working with um, the lighting and all that. So I have my lamp, that's this ugly silver thing right here, um, just as a little extra reinforcement. Extra reinforcement. Mm -hmm. Sorry, <laughs> uh, totally ADD right now. And uh, yeah, I have the natural light since I'm like right in front of the window, but it's about almost six and so it is slowly starting to dim away. So before I make this video any longer, because are you kidding? Oh, I thought that said seven. I've already gone on two minutes about nothing. Um, yeah, I just wanted to catch up with you guys. I wanted a more personal style video where I just kind of talk to you and if you have any questions, I can answer it on the next video, stuff like that. Um, because I feel like, I started this channel for a reason. I wanted to be like more of an activist, even if it's against, um, you know, not just for the sake of the animals, because you guys know I'm like really big into cruelty free and stuff like that, but also for um, anti bullying. Hi! And to help people who maybe suffer with anxiety and depression like I do. I know those words get thrown around on YouTube a lot, but I mean it when I tell you I have anxiety and depression. I even have OCD, and it's not, you know, self proclaimed or self prescribed whatever it is um, I take medication and I have suffered with this since I was I want to say five or six I don't remember exactly but since I could really have memories <laughs> um, so probably earlier on I got asked a lot actually on my other um, some of my other videos what <laughs> there's awful what uh, languages I speak I speak Portuguese that's my first language I moved here from Brazil when I was like 11 I'm from Rio de Janeiro if I have any Brazilians out there and my second is Spanish because my mom is Peruvian and Italian and then my dad is Brazilian and Italian and my third is English so yeah I don't know why I don't have an accent I heard that maybe you have to be like it's after your teen years that you get an accent. I'm not sure, but um, I, yeah, I struggled a lot with bullying, not just in Brazil, but when I got here from Brazil because I didn't know any English and just had my OCD tics that nobody was used to and stuff like that. So um, little things like I, I didn't even know how to say stapler. That's one thing I remember vividly. I would have to be like chick -chick and like act it out. And <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Um, and words like worksheet, I used to say workshit on accident and get in trouble. Um, but yeah, I went to a horrible school, it's a Catholic school and the teachers were very abusive and so were the students, it was just one of the worst experiences of my life. Um, it definitely made my anxiety worse and It didn't really get better in high school because the bullying just took a different form of, you know, gossip and girls hating on me and guys spreading rumors just because I didn't like them back and little things like that, you know, that everybody probably deals with. But it was a rough few years until I finally grew up and left those schools and, you know, had my own friends. And I guess that's like the one advice I can give anybody is to not really worry about what friends you're gonna make when you're younger. If they betray you or something, 
you only really need like less than a handful of friends because it's definitely quality over quantity and that's what I learned the hard way I've had to you know stop talking to people who walked all over me and that's something really hard to do when you're as giving and forgiving as I am and um, I think that's just something that I grew up with with my culture um, as you guys can see I live at home I'm 26 it's nothing I'm ashamed of I'm saving my money I went to school I you know I'm not gonna rush just to move out and work to die pretty much I want to find my passion and I want to take my time and be content so yeah just little things like that that in our culture we grow up with nobody really leaves their house until they're married or until you know they have kids or something um, and even then sometimes they stay home so their mom can help I mean it's just not a big deal for us and it's hard because around here you get judged you feel like a loser if you're not a doctor or an architect and you know living on your own and having some six-figure job and that's just not something I want to worry about um, I'm totally rambling about something different now <laughs> um, so yeah I guess those videos that say you know like you're not alone that's the one thing I really want to stress is you guys are not alone I've gone through so much I've gone through things that maybe I'll touch on in the future when people are not home they can't hear me um, pretty much everything bad that could have happened is a person has probably happened to me and I won't go too into details yet but if you guys ever need someone to talk to, I'm here, and I hope you enjoy these kind of videos where I'm just talking. Um, I plan to make a few more in the future if you guys like them, but I hope you guys start doing them too. I, I've seen some people do like tea time vlogs, um, or you know, like chit chat, get ready with me's, where they just kind of talk about their lives and update their subscribers. And I hate using the word subscribers because to me it's like friends. So yeah but I just wanted to have that style of video on my channel as well so this is more of like an introductory one I have a few topics to touch on like I just did but um, nothing too major I am going on vacation this weekend like I mentioned so I guess I'll talk a little bit about that I'm leaving Saturday to go with my mom to Peru and when we come back like in a week or so I'm gonna leave again and go with my dad to Brazil uh, my mom couldn't get um, the extra week off to come with us as well so we had to kind of split the visit um, or you know split it in between my parents they're not divorced or anything but we just had to split it and I am excited but I'm not it's really weird if anyone's from another country and you guys know what it's like to have family everywhere but where you live it's bittersweet when you go visit because you don't know when you're gonna be back I mean last time I hadn't been back in like six years this time it's only been two um, my dad hadn't been back and seen his mom in like 10 years which is one of the reasons why I work at the airport is so that I could have the benefits so we can go more often um, which is how we're gonna go actually which is awesome I like I can treat my family to a vacation and that feels so good to me that I can pay for the ticket now I can afford to take them and as much as it's like the worst job I've ever had in my entire life I'm not gonna lie it's so horrible the benefits that make it kind of worth it sometimes so if I don't take advantage of them it's not worth having the job but anyway yeah um when you go you have to say goodbye eventually and my mind just kind of wanders negatively to that aspect of the trip is the part where you say goodbye and it kills me inside and actually when I was doing the get ready with me video I started crying when I started talking about it so I had to like pause for a moment and recoup just because Oh, see, I already had six sip of my coffee. It's a very touchy subject for me. <laughs> my grandparents on my mom's side passed away not long ago, and they were like my second set of parents pretty much, and that's something that affected me more than almost anything in my entire life other than my little brother dying when I was younger. And now I only have one grandma left, and she's the one in Brazil that I'm going to go visit after next week. And so when I see her, I just, I don't want to lose her and I get so scared that it'll be the last time I see her. And it's just so overwhelming, you know, like I hate whew, my friends that I grew up with that is the kind of friendship where like you could not see them for 20 years and when you see them it's like there was never any time in between. I, I don't want to say goodbye to them, I don't want to feel alone again. I have some great friends here, don't get me wrong, I have some amazing friends, I have people that I can literally call my best friend, and I say literally just because 
best friend for me is like a huge significance I don't call anybody that I don't even call anybody my friend so yeah <laughs> But, you know, they either move away or I don't get to see them that often. Um, I can't, you know, I'm not going to pretend like my life here is horrible. It's not bad at all. I'm, if anything, I'm spoiled and I'm very lucky and very appreciative. It's just, like I said, it's never going to be the way that I feel like when I'm home, when I'm back in my country. It's just a different side of me that I don't get to touch on that often. And when I do, I just feel really refreshed and revived and I just wish it could happen more often. So yeah, there's that. I'm looking forward to the trip because of course I want to see my family and I ha my mom hasn't taken a vacation in years so I'm glad that I get to spend it with her as well. Um, but at the same time, I'm just not looking forward to having to leave and go back to work and <laughs> face reality again. So yeah, that's really another reason why I started making videos. Um, I'm not a shy person per se, but I am a little bit of an introvert and I wanted to kind of teach myself how to have a thicker skin. I knew that YouTube was going to come with a lot of negative comments and I experienced that firsthand, um, but I wanted to kind of fight it and teach myself how to cope um, and let go of the judgment because that's not a way to live your life caring about what other people think of you because then you're not actually gonna live your life you're gonna and the sad part is most of the time of course everybody knows this when someone's making fun of you or someone's bullying you it's just reflecting insecurities that have themselves on you so it's really not even about you but it's hard to get that perspective when you're younger so I think that's something that people have to learn over time with experience um, but yeah that's why I started my channel I didn't start it for money I still don't want money um, it's a bonus for sure because I get paid shit at my job <laughs> uh, probably shouldn't be saying that on camera but it's true um, I'm a very blunt person. I don't do it for the money, but it's a nice bonus. Like I said, it's not a lot at all here either. It's just enough to kind of like give me that extra boost for my medical bills. Um, yeah, I started having to take shots every other day and it's a pain in the ass. I have to take allergy shots so for like immunotherapy treatments because I used to get sick every single month. So that's another issue I was having, um, cancer scares, stuff like that, which again, I'll go into another video, but um, it's been it's been a journey struggling financially um, I hate it <laughs> I'm in a lot of debt right now that I'm trying to pay off and just oh, I can't even all these medical bills are just eating up all of my paychecks when I adopted waffle a few years ago I think it's up to what like four or five years now um, my paychecks were taken by him which I was totally okay with because it's still worth it to this day and there's just I always seem to be using my money on things other than myself so when I do use it on myself I try to like treat myself to something really special um, but it's you know living at home definitely helps my parents uh, help me a lot um, like my mom treated me to my nails since we're going on vacation they were like 30 bucks and to me it felt like 200 because it was just such a nice thing for her to do for me um, yeah little things like that um but yeah i don't know i don't know what else to say i guess just i mean leave me a comment below i'd like to know sorry this is a nail file i'm playing with <laughs> i'd like to know a little more about you guys as well like where you're from um how you feel about these certain topics what you're passionate about things like that i really like to hear about what other people um not struggle with but what other people have going on in their head to switch this little chat into something a little more positive um, I'm really excited that I have my own little space now it's a lot of you guys that live at home probably know how this feels but even though you don't like hate your family or anything it's hard having to share an apartment with like a million other people so you want your own space and that's exactly what I've been needing for so long and it's taken me years like I slowly transformed my transformed my bedroom it used to be really horrible I had furniture from when I was like 10 years old and it was really heavy bulky furniture that I didn't like everything was kind of arranged in the room the wrong way to where it made it smaller it's just been like a definite big progress for me to finally get it the way I want it and my boyfriend of course helped me a lot with it so we just did it like little by little like 
little corners of the room at a time and this was one of the last things I had to do and I'm so excited that it's like almost done I say almost because I still have some bags that I need to clear out but I have a desk I have my makeup set up I have my things to write with next to me everything to craft and draw and paint and oh it's just like a little release and to be able to just turn my camera on and not have to set up and oh you guys have no idea how great it feels it's like a little escape from reality when I'm having a bad day and I can't thank you guys enough for giving me the opportunity to just sit here and talk as if someone actually cares I, I mean <laughs> I know that sounds silly but I never thought even 10 people would care to watch my channel and now I have almost 10,000 and that blows my freaking mind I can't even deal with that I don't know I don't even know how to explain it the fact that you guys like what I'm doing, that you're leaving me such positive comments, I mean the comments just make my day every time. I could never thank you guys enough for that, so ah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna get all sappy again. Um, next coffee chit chat or coffee catch up, I promise it will not be this depressing. This is an introductory one, so everything that's been stressing me out I had to kind of release. And that's kind of how I grow closer to people is through issues that I don't ever tell anybody like that I would only tell my friend in privacy because I want you guys to see that I'm a very honest genuine person what you see is what you get and I'm not scared to talk about things like that because everybody deals with issues and if I'm gonna get judged for it I really don't care and neither should you and I wanted you guys to see that I do think of you guys as my friends because this is something I would only tell my friends all these things I barely even talk to my parents about it so even though it's a little like on the negative side I just wanted it to be as personal as possible and yeah um, I'll probably have way more things to talk about later on so I'm kind of excited to start these videos um, but yeah I guess that's pretty much all I had to say uh, it's already going on 20 minutes and I'm probably not gonna edit it just because that's kind of the point of this I don't care how many bloopers there are it's like supposed to be a rambly style video so you know what before I leave just so this isn't the most depressing video ever I'm gonna tell you guys a story of what just happened the other day at work I have so many stories to tell you it's ridiculous like maybe one day I'll just sit down and tell you guys my airport stories but <laughs> this one time this guy, I guess he had been like wandering around the terminal for a while. They had already called the cops on him or something because he had been um, smoking cigarettes and obviously doing things he shouldn't be doing at the airport. And they found him, well I found him. <laughs> I didn't report him because I had no idea this was the guy they were looking for. But I see this guy and he's laying down and he looks like a homeless guy. You know his clothes are super raggedy and dirty. He's really hairy like with full on beard, long hair. Um, older gentleman. I don't usually judge. Some people are just dirty. I mean, whatever. But he's laying down. He looks pretty wasted. He's laying down on the bench and he's just taking a nap. And this is like in the middle of the boarding area. It's not in some like little secluded bench in the corner. It's in the middle of the boarding area, right where TSA is. So all the TSA guards kind of start looking at him. And I'm walking by to go to my next gate to do my task and I see on the floor this dude freaking put his dentures like his dentures on his wallet on the floor to guard his wallet while he sleeps he uh, he took it i just couldn't even i i looked on the floor and i was like what the f is that you guys should have seen the passengers faces every time they walked by they would look down and be like <gasps> like just shocked and it was the funniest thing I've ever seen this guy literally used his teeth to guard his wallet and yeah the cops took him away and it was kind of sad to be honest but I <laughs> just some people you know you just never know what you're gonna run into at the airport I've uh, definitely had worse crazy experiences than that but I thought I'd give you guys like a, an I'll take it easy start slow and then move up later <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, enjoy your coffee, enjoy your tea, whatever you were drinking when you were talking or listening to me talk. I was thinking about starting vlogging or something like that too, but I'll just start slow and yeah. Um, if you guys want to hear about anything else on my next um, coffee catch up, let me know and I'll touch on the topics that I get suggested. Bye! 
Oh, that's another thing I should have touched on, huh? A lot of people kiss, like, blow a kiss to the camera. I didn't even notice that until my friends from a group that I'm part of pointed it out. And now I feel like such an idiot because just so unoriginal. But I can't help it. Every time I say bye, I just want to blow a kiss like I'm saying bye to you guys. I don't know. I don't know what else to do now. So I have to, like, control my hand like Ricky Bobby, you know, when he's in our interview. Okay, this is why I can't make these kind of videos. I'm going to go on for, like, hours. <laughs> bye!